Spreadsheets can give you a lot of great information, but sometimes it's overwhelming to figure out where to begin. You might think about having to write some formulas, which can be kind of difficult to do. One easy way to look at data in a spreadsheet is using what's called a pivot table. What a pivot table will do is it will allow you to make a pivot or a count between two different values. So you could maybe choose to organize things by gender and then by the major that they choose. In order to get started, you need to make sure that you have data that's all together. So in this case, I have my student name through extracurricular activity. There's no gaps in between the beginning and the end. And from top to bottom, everything's tight. There's no gaps or spaces or open areas. So the first thing you would do then is click anywhere, it does not matter where, and just select a cell of the data that you'd like to use. Go to data, pivot table. In this case, we'll use a new sheet so it's easier to work with. So maybe what we wanna do here is look at some suggestions and you can try these for sure if you'd like. If you don't like these suggestions, you can always change them as well. So I just undid it. Uh, what I want to do here is I want to think about, uh, I want to organize my rows by the class level. So I want to think about how my freshmen, sophomores, and juniors and seniors uh, compare based on the major that they have. And then what I want to do now for values is I want to count of the majors themselves. So in this case now, when I do this pivot table, I see that two of my freshmen are art majors and two of my seniors are math majors, and four of my freshmen are physics majors. So I can see some mores or less. Maybe what I wanna do now is I wanna get an idea of involvement. Well, what I can do then is for the values, I can go ahead and I can choose extracurricular activity. And so now I can see the variety of extracurriculars that people might be involved in based on their class level and based on their major. So it's just giving me accounts of this information. It's nice and neat to see more or less compared to looking at this big old table over here on the original sheet itself. And that is the, the long and the short of how a pivot table works.